Hi, Stu here from Music Technology. In today's Pro Tools Quick Tips video, I'm going to show you five tips for working with groups in Pro Tools. So here I am in the edit window, and if you look carefully at the edit window in places such as up here in the top right hand corner of the timeline, you'll see these little A to Z symbols, and these are your focus modes. So I'm in keyboard command focus mode at the moment. Up here, there's Eclipse focus mode right there. And down in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see there's a groups focus mode. So it's important to make use of these focus modes because it makes your keyboard do different things based on which mode you're in. Now, if I toggle into the mix window using a command equals, you can use control equals on windows, you'll see that I'm automatically in groups focus mode because the mix window only has one focus mode. But in the edit window, and I'll toggle back into there with command equals or control equals, you'll see that I'm in keyboard command focus mode up here. So if I want to get into groups focus mode, I can press option command three, and that'll be alt control three on a Windows machine. And that means that you are now in groups focus mode as reflected down here by this A to Z. Now that brings me on to tip two. Once I'm in groups focus mode, I like to label my groups with the letter of the thing that's in the group. So you can see here, I've got D for drums, P for percussion, B for bass. And that's because those letters on my keyboard now turn on and off those things. Now this doesn't seem like a big thing. Often people just have A, B, C, D, E, F as it's assigned there. But now if I want to turn on and off the guitars group, I can just simply press G on my keyboard. I don't have to think anything beyond G as the first letter in guitars. And this surprisingly speeds up your workflow quite a bit. So once you've done that, you can also use this panel to show and hide tracks. So what I'm going to do is toggle into the mix window and we're going to use this and this works in the edit window as well, just to show the strings. So I'm going to hold down control, that's start on windows and press strings. That shows me just the strings tracks. Now I can add to that by adding shift to that. So that's control shift or start shift. And maybe I wanna show the guitars as well. And then if I click on guitars again, it makes them disappear. And if I click on strings, that makes that disappear. How do I get everything back? Hold down control or start and click on the all group and everything comes back. Now you can use this to leverage a way of simplifying your mix. And we do that by using VCA faders. So we've got VCAs here on each of our groups. And if I pick one, say the strings one, and I slightly move it, you'll see it's controlling my strings group here. Now, what I've done is I've taken all of these VCAs and I have grouped them together in their own group. You'll see that down here, it's called masters and VCAs. So if I hold down control and click on that, I can see just my master fader and my VCAs. So this has significantly simplified my mix, allowing me to mix these elements against each other now. So I've got drums against percussion, against bass, rather than the individual elements. However, if I did want to tweak, say, one of the keyboards, I could hold down Control Shift or Start Shift and click on the keyboards. That spills that out and I can tweak the level of one of those keyboards. And then I could press the same group here with Control shift or start shift held down keyboards and it would fold it back up again. So that's how we use groups to show and hide tracks and simplify our mix. Now finally, when you're working with groups, it's a really good idea to learn the shortcuts. The one we use most of course is command G or control G on Windows. This is to create a group. And if we've already got tracks selected, as I had those two VCAs selected, guitars and strings, you can see that it's automatically added them into the group already. That's reflected down here. So I'm gonna cancel that because I don't wanna make that new group. Now, sometimes we'll wanna just suspend all of our groups so we can just make individual tweaks across our mixer. And we do that by pressing Shift Command G on a Mac or Shift Control G on Windows. And then if we wanna modify this group at the top here, D for drums in my case, what we would do is we would hold down Control Command G or start control G on Windows and that brings up the modify groups panel which looks like the create groups panel so just bear in mind that it says modify groups up there and we can make modifications to this group. I'm going to press escape to close that window. 
So there are five tips for speeding up your workflow when it comes to working with groups in Pro Tools. This should significantly increase your speed of working and also allow you to simplify really large mixes which might have hundreds of tracks and just balance those things against each other. Hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. We upload videos like this every week. I've been Stu for Music Technology. Have a productive day and I'll see you soon. Thank you.